everybody, it's Melissa. I've, I've had a, quite a few questions over the last several months about um, my black wire swirls, or my wire swirls, or the wire work I do on a lot of my minis and projects. And um, I wanted to try and show y'all how I do it. It is not hard, just takes a little bit of practice. And um, so I, I'm going to show you I'm going to try and show you. It's very hard to film something like this because you have to do it in an angle. And I'm not a good videographer, so excuse my hand. So um, <laughs> either this is going to work or y'all just won't see it. So anyway, um, this is my favorite wire, as most of you know. And I'm almost out. And I got this a Tuesday morning. I bought two spools of it when I got it. And I cannot find this wire anywhere. So if anybody knows where um, to find this wire, and there's no packaging, it didn't come with any packaging, so I don't know who makes it, and I don't know what gauge it is. If anybody knows where this is, please tell me. <laughs> please, please. So I'm going to use this big wire, and it's easier to use smaller, so try and use smaller wire, and use something that's inexpensive when, if you haven't done this before, so you don't waste your wire. So I'm going to snip off about a 10 inch piece of wire and the only thing you're going to need is round nose pliers. I have done this with the flat needle nose pliers but round nose make your life easier and I'm sure most of you already have those anyway. And just take something, a wooden handle of some kind, something big and round and just kind of pull your wire and press it against the wood just just to smooth it out and stretch it a little bit. I think there are tools for this but I don't have one so I'm just using it's to hone knife blades after you sharpen them. A honing steel or something. The handle of that. So anyway okay so here's our wire. The easiest way I've found to do this is not to turn your actual pliers at this point, but turn the wire. Grab the very tip end of the wire, squeeze tight, and turn the wire, not the pliers, and you may end up with a teardrop shape to start with, and that's okay because you can go back and fix that. What you're aiming for right now is a rounded shape, as round as you can get it. It doesn't matter if the wire touches itself as you go around, you can adjust that later. But you want to keep it flat and as round as possible. And see what I'm talking about in the center, that's not perfectly round, but that's okay because we can fix that. So now I'm going to lay it down on a flat surface, and this is where it's going to be hard for you to see because my hand's going to be in the way, but I'm going to try and tilt to the side and I'm going to continue to turn the wire and I'm pressing down on the, making sure that it's flat as I go. It's awkward because I'm filming, but when you're doing this at home, it's not going to be this awkward. And I'm going around. And I'm just touching the coil to itself as I go around and pressing down, make sure, making sure it stays flat. And if it's not flat, stop and just make it flat. It's real easy to bend. Okay, so we've got our swirl that is fairly round. We're going to go back and adjust that later so it honestly it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm taking the end that's still straight and I'm going to turn it back on itself. And I am turning the pliers to do this. And then I'll once I get it started, you can either continue to turn the pliers at this stage, 
or you can turn the wire. I find it easier most times to turn the wire once you get that loop started. And you can make this end just as big or as small as you want. A lot of times I'll use this end to hang a charm from. Sometimes I'll actually hang this swirl, just hang the swirl from a jump ring on this end and hang it on my project. So it just depends what you're going to use it for and how you want it to look. And then just go back and start adjusting your wire. And they're not ever going to come out the same. Oops, sorry. I had the camera so close. They won't ever come out the same, exactly the same. So if you want them to, good luck. <laughs> I've never been able to make them look exactly the same. I've gotten them similar, but not the same. Now on the inside, I don't like the way this tail looks, so I'm going to snip it off where I started it. I don't like it, so I'm going to snip it off. And then either leave it like that, or you can go in with your pliers again and grab that and pull it. There. So that's how this one came out, and I'll show you, you again the one I did before this. And the way I hung it on my tag, the center of it was in the center. Oh, I was off screen. The center was in the center of my tag hole. And then it was laying flat on the tag. So to actually, I'll use this as an example. If I wanted it to hang here and I want um, a charm to hang down from here, you would just need to bend this up a little bit so your jump ring could hang free and your charm could swing. So anyway, that's how I make my swirls. And I hope that that was easy to understand. And I hope everybody tries it. And let me know what you think. And please let me know if you know where to get that black wire I love. Thanks for watching. Bye.